straight to it. So three ways is a player's guide, you know what I'm saying, how to increase your confidence, da, da, da. Hey, I'm Jay Lifestyle. If you haven't seen me before, I got a main channel. You can go look at my channel, da, da, da. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm talking about. But three ways to, you know what I'm saying, get your confidence up. The play way. First things first, you got to get something going for yourself, all right? Whether you want to be a YouTuber, rapper, streamer, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say scammer because, you know what I'm saying, that's illegal. But whatever you want to do, you want to be a teacher, you want to go to college, whatever it is that you want to do, you got to get that going for yourself. Let me tell you why. Whenever you got something like going for yourself, it's like you got a different vibe to yourself. It's like you got a different walk to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got a different kind of confidence whenever you like really got it going for yourself you know what I'm saying you got a lot going on you know what I'm saying you got hobbies you got friends you got shit going on for yourself da, da, da. that's what's gonna make everything flow a lot more easier you're gonna have a lot more walk you're not gonna be necessarily worried about what this person got to say what this person got to say you know what I'm saying because you got it going on for yourself so that's really like the first thing that you got to do first things first you got to get something going for yourself all right y'all make sure y'all stay to the end because I'm gonna say the most important one for the end all right number two you got to start working out you know what I'm saying male female it don't matter an hour of exercise every single day it don't matter what you do. As y'all can see, I'm in the park right now. I might come out here and do some push-ups, pull-ups. I got a gym membership. That's where I work out. I don't know. Swim. Go play some basketball. You just got to, like, get up out the house and you got to, like, actually start exercising. Because what you're going to start to notice is once your body starts to improve physically, it's going to improve, like, your mental state, too. You're not going to be necessarily thinking so self-conscious, da da Because that's all that a lack of confidence is, is you really being in your head. You, like, really being self-conscious. You know what I'm saying? You just, you, you think it too much. You know what I'm saying? You think it way too much. So on a physical state, you gotta like hit the gym, you gotta go start working out, you gotta start doing da da da, start doing that. Number three, affirm yourself. Now I know we talked about physical, but now I'm gonna start talking a little bit more about like a little bit more mental stuff. So to wrap up the physical, basically you need to get something going for yourself. You need to get some money coming in, and you gotta improve your physique. So start working out. That's males, females, grandma, mom, auntie, anybody, no matter what position you are in life, you know what I'm saying? Try to get outside, try to do something that's exercising, you know what I'm saying? And I know there's some people that like, you know what I'm saying, they genuinely cannot exercise because they have like a disability or something. I understand that. But if you don't have that, then that's more of an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, more of a reason for you to be outside and really be bettering yourself and improving yourself. So from a physical standpoint, get you some money going, some motion, da da da, friends, hobbies, you know what I'm saying, then also, uh, what the fuck did I even just say? Oh yeah, working out, my nigga, you gotta start working out and shit too. Okay, now we're gonna talk about from like a mental aspect. All right, you gotta start affirming yourself, okay? This is when it starts getting like true because the physical stuff is very important, but your physical body, everything else is always gonna follow like your mind and your spirit, all right? So you gotta get your mental right. You need to start affirming yourself. When you first wake up in the morning, you need to start looking in the mirror, you need to start telling yourself shit like, I got this, I'm the motherfucking man. I'm on the right path, and God got me. I'm gonna be straight. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna continue to do this. And whatever that is, bro, that's gonna get your overall life confidence up. I know a lot of y'all, cause I think I, I might title this like three player steps to confidence or whatever. And so a lot of y'all is coming over here thinking about like confidence regarding women. I'm telling y'all confidence is real life. Like when you got that real life, like deep confidence in yourself, it's like, it don't matter. Like it could be a 10 out of 10 walking right there. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get a number, probably see her, da da da. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? If it's a million dollar opportunity right there, I'm gonna go introduce myself to bro. You know what I'm saying? Shake his hand, da da da. We're gonna make some business. You gotta have that like over, the fuck? Hold oh, y'all, this camera heavy. Damn, my shoulder hurting. I'm like a damn MLB pitcher. But uh, yeah, start affirming yourself. You know what I'm saying? Start getting your mind right with da 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 that because that's just gonna help you overall with your confidence. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all more specifically about the women because you know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like a lot of y'all came over here. The mental game with women is very like, I'm getting a call, who the fuck calling me? What was I even talking about, my nigga? Go ahead and remind me, comment down below what we talking about. That's how I'm gonna know if you paying attention or not. But yeah, we was talking more about the women, you know what I'm saying, what y'all really wanna hear. So, with the women aspect as far as your confidence, you gotta understand, you know what I'm saying, this is a person just like you, all right? Don't necessarily overthink it. I'm not gonna say I never really had confidence issues, but at the end of the day, you gotta have that thought like this is still another person, you know what I'm saying? If you out at the park, you out at Target, Target, whatever the fuck you want to call that shit, Wally World, the grocery store, da da da. If it's a girl, just go up to her, bro. Honestly, like don't think too much. You gotta understand this is a person just like you, and this is a statement that one of my OGs put into me that I'm gonna put into y'all. Pause, bro. No woman ever walks out the house and says I don't want to get swept off my feet today. No woman has ever woke up in her life and said I hope I don't get swept off my feet today. So maybe you could be the nigga to do it. You know what I'm saying? So understand this is a person and females, I, whatever they say about guys not approaching them, fuck that shit. I don't care, that shit is all false. If you looking good, you on your shit, 
you straight, you approach in a confident manner, she gonna be fucking with it. So I don't care what women say about we don't want guys approaching us, da da da. Listen to me. Listen to your big brother J Lifestyle. All right, I'm telling you right. You see a girl that you like, approach her. There's no right or wrong time to approach a girl. Even in the gym. I hear a lot of people talk about you shouldn't be approaching girls in the gym. Nigga, if she looking at you and you looking at her, go say something. Like, you don't even gotta flirt with her, but go say something, go speak to her. You know what I'm saying? That's just a human. Like, it's okay for humans to like communicate with each other. All right? So get over that mental block of like, oh, I'm not supposed to do it, or this might not be the right time, or da da da. You just gotta do it. All right? Now, I know what y'all are asking now, so you talk about just do it. Well, how do I do it? You gotta be in the moment as possible, all right? You don't wanna be thinking about the past, future. What fucks a lot of niggas up is damn, how am I finna get this bitch back to the crib so I can fuck? Or that past, they be thinking in the past, like, oh, this happened in the past, I can't do this. Bro, you gotta be in the moment as possible. Let me give you an example of being in the moment. If you at a party, da da da, and a certain song comes on, a bunch of girls start dancing. All right, go in there and get lit. Da da da, what y'all know about this song, da da da. You wanna talk about something in the moment. You dig what I'm saying? If you at the gym, you wanna talk about like some fitness shit or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Something that has something to do with it in the moment. Or say you see her jamming out to a song, she listening to it, da da da, oh, what song you listening to? Something simple like that can go like a long ass way. What's another example? Cause I feel like I said a party in the gym, but I feel like y'all niggas be living extravagant lives. I got fans worldwide. So I gotta talk about like worldwide shit, let me think. If you at the grocery store, nigga, I, I hit this one at the mall all the time. If you at the mall and you see her shopping, oh shit, you shopping for your boyfriend? You killing two birds with one stone. For one, you breaking the ice. Number two, she gonna say, oh, I don't have a boyfriend or oh, I got a boyfriend, I'm shopping for him, da da da. She's shopping for another nigga, pack it up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's a way that you can kill two birds with one stone. Y'all seen me do that in my motherfucking videos before. You know what I'm saying? So from a mental aspect, you just gotta stay in the motherfucking now. In the right now. You gotta talk about something in the right now. Think about the right now. Don't think about the past, future, da da da. That's like, the more so the mental aspect. Now from a spiritual perspective of confidence, you gotta like have more confidence, you gotta have confidence in yourself as a spirit. Let me explain that, cause I feel like that might not have made a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? You can have confidence in yourself physically, like oh yeah, I'm in the gym, you know what I'm saying? I got money, I got a lot of shit going on, I got a nice house, okay, that's da da da. You could have the mental confidence from the fact that like, okay, I know I'm that nigga, da da da, I affirm myself every day, da da, but you gotta have that like spiritual confidence in yourself. When I say that spiritual confidence, that's like different. That's not like yo, mind or your body that's like within you you know deep down within yourself pause <laughs> all right we we have a no pause rule on this channel from now on just no more pauses because i feel like if i just keep talking i'm gonna say multiple pause moments well i'm talking about the deep down all right bro take this just here come on here's the video here's the video okay deep with inside of you right you gotta have that confidence, you know that like everything's gonna be all right and you could do anything that you really wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Don't limit yourself to something as little as my confidence, like, oh, I'm confident enough to go get that girl's number. Or I'm confident to go do this, you know what I'm saying? I'm confident to speak up in class. It's gotta be more well-rounded. You gotta have that confidence in yourself that's like, you can do anything, bro, because you can do anything. Real talk. If you don't believe it, just go look at my J Lifestyle channel, my main channel. Go look at some of my older videos and look at how I interact with women and females and then look like towards the end. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my YouTube channel doesn't show it as much, but even from a business perspective, I got more confident in business, da da da, overall, because I like that deep spiritual confidence within myself. I understand that everything's gonna be all right and you could do anything that you put your mind to. You know what I'm saying? Confidence carries over. Confidence carries over. Matter of fact, let me add one more thing. This is the most important thing. I almost forgot about this shit. This is very important. When you say you're gonna do something, do it. If you say I'm gonna wake up at this time and go to the gym, you gotta wake up and go to the gym. If you say you're gonna stop beating your shit, stop beating your, stop beating your shit overall. I, do I need to make a whole video about that shit? I feel like y'all niggas should already know that shit. But stop beating your shit. That's gonna help with your confidence too. But uh, what I was talking about, whenever you say you're gonna do something, like commit to it. It's something about like, somebody else can say something and you could have faith in that person based off of past experience, da da da. Somebody can say something to you, you're not, you're not sure if they're gonna come through. It needs to be the point where if you say you're gonna do something, you're gonna come through. Let me tell you how this shit carries over. If you tell yourself, da da da, okay, I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m., I'm gonna go to the gym before work, you know what I'm saying? Which, let me tell you, I'm not one of them type niggas. Y'all know I stay up late as fuck, wake up late as fuck. It's 11.30, I think I woke up like 30 minutes ago and I made this video. I'm not one of them early morning ass niggas. Find what works for you, you know what I'm saying? Find what works for you and be confident in your routine. But, um, hold up, bro. 
My bad, y'all. I'll be getting a lot of phone calls, y'all. Everybody want to talk to Jay Lifestyle. I don't blame him. I'm a, I'm a cool ass nigga. But, uh, excuse me, my nigga. But, um, to what I was saying about doing shit that you say you're going to do, that shit carries over. Whenever you like, once I say I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it, it translates over into other aspects of life. For instance, you at the, you know what I'm saying, Walmart, whatever, you at your school, you see, bitch, I'm about to get her number. If you used to telling yourself shit and that shit actually comes true and it actually happens, and you get used to, you know what I'm saying, that going through your subconscious, when you do that in real life, that's going to happen. All right? That's going to happen. Now, here's what I'm going to say to wrap everything up. I want y'all to take everything that I said and, like, really consider it and think about it, think deep about it. Think long, hard, and... But you, you know what I mean? But also take everything I say with a grain of salt. Because at the end of the day, none of these thoughts is going through my head when I'm making a video or when I'm about to go talk to a girl or whenever I'm about to go make a business deal. None of this stuff is like really in my head. A lot of this comes second nature. I'm just chilling. I'm just in the moment. Like I got it. You know what I'm saying? So you want to take these steps in your actual life to like get this shit rocking. You know what I'm saying? Kind of get the flow going. Then eventually all this stuff is going to become second nature to you. You dig what I'm saying? The more you do something, the easier it's going to become for you. So whatever it is that you want to get more confident in, you got to put in them hours. You got to practice. You know what I'm saying? And do it. That's the way that you can build it over long term. At the end of the day, know within yourself. Know what you can do and what you can and can't do. You got it, my nigga. Don't trip. But practice is like the best way. Repetition. You know what I'm saying? That nigga Kobe Bryant or LeBron James is probably more confident shooting a three-point jump shot right now than I am right now. Why? They just put in more practice. They put in more hours. Now listen, it's, some, it's like 10 bad bitches over there. I don't give a damn about them niggas. I'm, I'm, they coming to my crib. You know what I'm saying? I done done that shit. Or if it's some business shit, I'm confident in that. Like, I done done that shit. You know what I'm saying? So whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you want to get more confident in, da -da -da, make sure that you put in the time. Because, you know what I'm saying, practice makes perfect. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could tell y'all, like, one little mind state trick, mindset trick to, like, you know what I'm saying, really get your confidence up. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to put in practice and whatever you want to get so you can truly be confident in that shit but also understand that your mind is a very 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 powerful tool a lot of my confidence over the years has grown just through me training my mind you know what i'm saying i'm that nigga i can do this i'm jay i don't lose i know what to do i don't lose i'm undefeated just telling yourself over time you know what I'm saying? that's gonna build your confidence up but hey if you want to see more motherfucking videos like this more informational videos hey i was a damn good player now I'm ready to be a player's coach. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to be a player and be a coach to help y'all out. Because I feel like, what's the use of, like, y'all just seeing me do all this shit, like, if I'm not even, like, really, like, teaching y'all how, like, y'all could possibly do it yourselves and shit. So, if y'all want to see more videos like this, ask me a question in the comments. I don't lived a lot of fucking life, y'all. I'm about to live a lot more. So, nine times out of ten, if you got a question, I can give you some sort of insight. You know what I'm saying? Make a video, da da da. But this is J Motherfucking Lifestyle. This is my daily channel. I'm going to post a motherfucking vlog. It's Saturday, so I'm about to get outside today. Then probably post a vlog tomorrow. But I ain't do shit yesterday. So it ain't gonna be no vlog coming out today. That's but now y'all niggas get hey bro, I'll see y'all niggas tomorrow. But J motherfucking lifestyle subscribe if you haven't already. Like if you enjoyed. And, uh comment what you've been doing to help with your confidence. Alright? Comment right now if there's anything that I missed that you've been doing for your confidence so we can build a little community. We can all help each other out. You know what I'm saying? We worldwide, smooth, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? This is just a collection of smooth niggas. Alright? So hop in the motherfucking comments. Comment down below what you've been doing for your uh yo. Bro, I'm talking too much, bro. I'll see y'all niggas in the next one.